Hello everyone, welcome back. I am going to share with you today my blending hacks um, for having short hair and clipping in long hair extensions. There are just some tips and tricks I wanna share with you guys. As you can see, that's the before and after. First thing to avoid are these little pieces sticking out from underneath. So what I do is I section off this area down by my nape and I use bobby pins to secure this little twisted knot that I made. I basically just create like a crisscross with bobby pins and then I clip usually two, um, sometimes three depending on the size of the section. But yeah, I'm just gonna clip that right over. You wanna make sure that you use the thickest wefts down here so that it doesn't look like you have a gap. The extensions I'm using are the Light Ash Blonde and I actually custom toned them and I have a video on that as well. So there's that. As you can see, those little annoying pieces aren't sticking out anymore. And another tip that I'm going to share with you guys is that when you're clipping your extensions in, you want to usually clip your extensions in behind your ear. You want to avoid clipping the wefts close to your face on those little baby fine pieces by the front because you will definitely see the clips if you move your head or if you play with your hair it's going to get caught and it's going to hurt so clipping them in right behind your ear is the perfect way to make those shorter pieces in the front look more like face framing layers and yeah i'm basically just clipping all of my extensions in to show you guys what i do See how short my hair is compared to the extensions? Yeah. So now I'm taking like the longest extensions, I'm putting them towards the back. And another little trick is to face frame your extensions. So make them a little bit shorter in the front. You don't wanna cut too much length off of your extensions. You wanna leave some of them long. <laughs> I was really happy about how perfectly I clipped that one in. So yeah, like as you can see, like you swoop your little face framing pieces over the extensions, it looks more natural. Here I'm using the luxury um, five-in-one one curling wand. I'm just using the curling iron with the barrel. I typically don't use the clamp when I'm doing my extensions. I'll just use it like a wand, but for my hair, I'm focusing on the ends so the clamp comes in handy and it kind of helps smooth the hair down and make it look a little bit more shiny. Another thing I do is I don't like when there's four clip wefts, so I take my four clip wefts and I make them two, so I cut them in half. I just feel like I can play around with them more and have more like versatility in the way that I put them in. Still avoiding clipping them in the front Trust me, when it's all done, it makes a huge difference that you don't clip them in close to your face. It just doesn't look natural when you do that. It's starting to look better. And for the top pieces, I'm just doing the same thing, using the iron to just kind of curl them away from my face. Um, there's also, I have, another part of this video that I'm gonna create and it's gonna be heatless hairstyles that you can do when you're kind of in a rush and you don't have time to do all this blending and styling. Just quick, easy things that you can style your hair without having to put in all this effort because sometimes we're in a rush and we're like, ain't nobody got time for that. And now, this is the most important part I think. You wanna take one of your wefts, just one piece, um, preferably like a three clip weft, and you wanna cut it a lot shorter than the rest. Basically, the in-between mark between your natural hair and the extensions, you wanna create a weft that looks like that, and you wanna clip that as high as you can on the crown of your head. And this is gonna give the illusion that you literally just have a shit ton of layers, excuse my language. <laughs> but basically, I mean, look at the difference. It just looks like it's my real hair now, rather than having this cut off line in the back showing my haircut, now it looks more natural, like it all flows and blends together so much better. Um, yeah. And so that's basically it, you guys, for as far as blending. Obviously, styling is majorly important as well as 
just it's all visual you want to avoid putting those extensions towards the front of your face because that's going to give away that there's something poking out underneath so when you have your real hair floating over the extensions like I'm basically demonstrating it right here I'm taking this chunk and all my clips are back there I can do so much more I can style my hair I can have fun with it I can play with it and it's not like I'm getting caught in them and I'm ripping them out of my head which is never fun yeah so basically I just zhuzh it up I add little one pieces to make it look more natural obviously I'm doing the same on the other side I have less hair on that side so I usually just tuck it but that's it if you guys have any questions or, yeah, basically any concerns at all, you can feel free to contact me. You can follow me on Instagram, follow my YouTube channel, just completely stalk my life. And I would be more than happy to help you guys figure out what extensions will work best for you. I usually always respond to people. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.